What is up guys, my name is Alex Caves and I am a designer in its purest definition and so what I like to do is ask why to everything. On this episode, I wanted to give you my first impressions on the new iPad Pro and the questions I have of the new design. As you know, Apple just had their keynote presentation introducing the new MacBook Air, the Mac Mini, and uh, the new iPad Pro. And since the iPad had the most design change, that's what I wanted to focus on on this episode. All in all, the design of the new iPad Pro is pretty incredible. The new screen, the processing power, the new pencil. This is going to replace a lot of MacBook Pros in the professional world and I'm actually considering replacing mine. But there's three design elements that leaves me with more questions and I have to ask why. So, number one, square edge. They've only had two generations of iPhones that had the square edge, the four and the five, and ever since then, everything is rounded. The curved glass and bezel edge was the iconic design of the iPhone 8 and 10 series, so why they've deviated from this uh, design language on the iPad, I don't know. Is this a new direction of all future devices? Did they miss the memo that the edge had to be round? I don't know. Number two, camera bump. This is one of my biggest pet peeves with iPhones and iPads. With Apple's incredible technology, why can't they make this stupid thing flush? I would be willing to sacrifice the quality of the image just to have it sit flat on the table. And I know you're gonna say like, just buy a case, but that, that we shouldn't have to buy a case for a product that is super expensive to make it work the way we want it to work. An accessory should be an accessory and not a requirement for an iPhone or iPad. And here's the thing, they say this new iPad is thinner than ever before, but shouldn't the thinness of something be measured from its widest point? Just saying. Three, mag charge pencil. I gotta say, this pencil is pretty amazing. This is the level of detail that I appreciate. The way the old Apple Pencil charged was ridiculous. We had to stick it into the uh, the charging port as it, <laughs> it was not the best picture. And so I'm glad they updated that whole charging system. But this brings us to another question. Why can't they do this to all their devices? We used to have MagSafes on our MacBooks way back when, and we loved those. Why they got rid of them, I don't know. Please bring them back. You have the technology. Make it happen, please. Well, that's it for me, guys. Let me know if you agree or disagree with my whys, or if you want to bring up more questions or even answers, please comment in the box below. Let's have an awesome design discussion. Thank you so much for watching my first impressions of the iPad Pro. I will see you in the next video.